Hello and welcome to Video Revealed. I'm Colin Smith. Let's find out how we can find the perfect shot with media intelligence in Adobe Premiere Pro. Well, this feature has been requested long before anybody talked about artificial intelligence, and that's finding things visually uh, in your clips. You can't always remember what, what you have, and you need to find it based on what you remember or what you think or what you need to find. Find that person with the red shirt, find the blue car, find the dog, something with, uh, and you can add very long uh, strings of text to help it you find things. So that's built into the newest version of Premiere Pro. It has to analyze your media. So I've created a project here with, uh, I think I've got 600. I've got 508 clips in here that I'm going to search for. And when you start um, media intelligence over on the right, this dashboard will have a little circle. So if you've got it turned on, which I'll show you how to turn it on or off, you'll see a little circle as it starts to read that information. I'll, I'll show you at the end some important information about why this is not what you think if you're worried about it going to the cloud. It's not, it's all on the machine. I'm gonna show you in the edit menu, Preferences, this is the Premiere Pro menu on the Mac. Media analysis and transcription. And you can see here, um, analyze all imported media to, to visually search. Now, what's also important to note is that the analysis gets cached and you get to pick uh, whether it's in the media cache next uh, to the media in a sidecar or you can turn it off completely. But Media analysis will be cached so you won't have to reanalyze clips if you use them in another project. And you can share this. Basically, it's this, it's PR on this PRIN file. Uh, so if you're working with uh, on a server with a group of people, you can have this cached on the server so they won't have to reanalyze the clips. So you can turn this analysis on or off anytime you want. You can turn it on, import a bunch of things, and then turn it off again. So use that. You can also use it in the import uh, menu. Uh, there's media analysis here that you can turn on if you're bringing in. So this will stay, this'll, this is like a sticky setting that will be there. So as you're bringing in your clips, um, it will be analyzing them. And it's, it's analyzing the um, text information, visual information, uh, metadata information. So this little guy over here, the search panel, when I click on this, it opens it up here and it's telling me to turn on analysis. So when I turn this on, it's an, it's analyzed everything before. Um, I can search for everything, visuals, text, or metadata. And I'm going to search for man with spoon. If I know how to spell, Spoon. And you can see here, it's found man with spoon, man with spoon, man with spoon. Not necessarily a spoon, or maybe that one is a spoon. Uh, and that one definitely is a spoon, but it's, it's culinary. No text and no metadata. Now these clips here, I can double click on them and, and load them into the uh, source monitor. Um, you can also drag them directly to the timeline from the search panel. So that makes finding things easier. Let's try a few more searches. Uh, shaking hands. You can see the metadata down here, businessman shaking hands. They're shaking hands or shaking hands. She is holding a selfie stick with her hand. Uh, this isn't necessarily, this is a hug, not shaking hands. And this is, uh, I don't know. And this is, <laughs> a motorcycle where he's holding on to the bar. So 
not perfect, but it did find the shaking hands that I had. Woman with camel. I happen to know I've got a woman with camel, so there she is. She's got a camel, and wait a minute. Those aren't camels. Those are alpacas. <laughs> it gets a little bit more confused here. Woman with, I guess they're kind of fuzzy and hairy and whatever. So it found a woman with dog, but at least it found this stuff. Um, another one is location. So let's look for Venice. And it found Venice and it found metadata for Venice. Now I wanted to get more specific about the mood of someone. So I was looking for a, I know I've got a clip of this girl here, this sullen look of, and it got that. That's the one I was looking for. Um, it got other similar ones. And it got, it got something completely not at all. <laughs> I think that baby's having fun. It's not very sullen. All right, let's try hailing a taxi. So that's good. That's a girl hailing a taxi. We've got someone riding in a taxi, the same woman getting in a taxi. And I guess, is that a taxi in the back or could be thought of as a taxi? All right, let's try uh, dunking a basket. I know I've got a basketball shot, dunking a basket, dunking a basket. Did pretty good there. Yeah. And you can also search uh, for a sequence if you if you want. I'm just searching for the source information. So let me show you some important points. First of all, can I see the, the tags that Premiere Pro is applied to each clip? Well, visual search isn't based on tagging your footage. The ana analysis identifies your footage by mapping it into a multi-dimensional semantic understanding. If you think you know what that, I don't know what that means, but Adobe's showing you at least what this is based on. It's, it's, it's multi-dimensional semantic understanding. I have no idea what that is, but it works. Uh, when you type a search, the text is mapped into the same semantic space. The nearest matches uh, to your search text are shown. This means you don't have to learn a set of tags. Uh, you can use complex descriptions and freely try different synonyms or variations. Um, can Premiere Pro learn from my media? No. Premiere Pro uses fixed AI models to analyze your footage and perform searches. The models uh, may be updated and improved in the future versions of Premiere Pro. It does not see or train on your footage or your searches. All analysis happens locally on the machine. So before all the conspiracy theorists say, eh, it's looking at my search and looking at my image, it's not. And we know that people will report different than this, but I wanted to wave a flag and point to you, this is happening locally and Adobe's not training or saving. Okay, last important point, are my searches or media training Adobe's AI? Ah, no. Your searches and media are not used to train Adobe's AI models. Your privacy is important to us and we built media intelligence to operate completely on your computer. So there you got no worries at all. It, nothing's going to the cloud. Um, if you're working for on a highly confidential project, um, in a feature film, doc or Netflix or whatever that have really strict uh, rules about how you communicate, 
you know that you can be searching locally and not, nothing will be leaving your computer. This is a win-win for everybody. This is great for users who are trying to find that one shot. You can't remember the name of the clip. Uh, you didn't <laughs> rename your clips. They all have that goofy camera name on them, but at least you're searching for the media. This is huge. It's a big update. Thank you, Adobe, for this. Hey, if you're new to video reveal and you found us informative, take a moment and subscribe. Till next time, I'm Colin Smith, and it's my job to show you some of the cool new ways that we can find the stuff that we can't normally find in Premiere Pro.